Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the main method parameter. I'm going to go and open up my website here to javacjava.com, click on begin. Just take you to the tutorials page. We'll scroll down here to the main method parameter tutorial. The main method is the entry point for a class invoked from the Java command line tool. In the main method signature, there is a string array enclosed in a pair of parentheses. Right? String args. What is its purpose? Well, when we invoke a class using the Java command line tool, we can pass our program information at the time the program is run. We do this by adding a list of arguments after the Java class name syntax. It works like this. Java, then our class name, what we want to invoke, and then an argument list, which are basically valid literals. So in other words, in this particular case, Java, and then main method will be the name of our class, and then admin, and one, two, three, four, five, a couple of arguments. All the optional arguments are converted to string data types and loaded into a string array. Now arguments and parameters are sometimes used interchangeably. The term parameter is used to refer to the variable in the method's signature. In the case of the main method, string args, right? Args is the parameter. An argument is the optional value or values being passed at the command line. So we're going to scroll down here to the code, highlight this, control C or right click set copy. It's really simple today. Move this off screen there. Now I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop. If you don't, you can create one by going new shortcut, typing in CMD, next, and finish. All right? Go and open up the command prompt here. Type in uh, Java C. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't, then go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing a Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly for these tutorials to work. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, backslash tells it to go to the root. Type in MD, make directory Java. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. Change directories to the Java folder. I'm going to make a direct, another directory underneath there called um, main method. Change to that folder there. I'm going to type in notepad main method. Dot Java. The main method.java is going to be our source code file name, also known as compilation unit. We'll hit enter on that. Control V to paste. And we'll save. So this one's really, really, really simple here. Um, main method is the name of our class. We've got our public static void main, our entry point here. And basically, this is our method signature right here. The name of the method, which is main plus the parameters. And so basically everything inside of the opening and closing curly brace is what's called the method body. Um, the whole entire, everything starting here for public static void main, this is what's called a method declaration. So the only thing it's going to do today is it's going to loop through the arguments, right? All of the all of the stuff that we pass into the main method will be loaded into this arg string array here, which is basically this is what's called a parameter. And it will we'll use the enhanced for loop to basically iterate through the arg string array, right? And each element as we're iterating through it will be assigned to this temporary string variable s, and then we'll display it to the console. So uh, let's go ahead and compile this. Let's clear our screen first. And we'll run it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to pass it any parameters. As you can see, nothing happens there, right? Now we'll go ahead and pass it a couple of parameters, like um, a username and password if we wanted to make that contingent upon running this class, right? So. You can see it just basically displays admin and one, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice there's a space in between admin and one, two, three, four, five. So in that particular case, as you can see by the print line method here, that the arguments um, are separated and loaded into the string array based on a space there. Okay? So let's see, what if I wanted to type in let's try another one here, right? 
This is a list of arguments. Right? And press enter. You see, each one comes in as its own argument because it's separated by a, by a space. Then we hit the up arrow on my keyboard. If we wanted this to be its own um, argument there, we could type in that and then let's say at the end, let's put in like a, a phone number, right? And you can see now this is a single argument, right? And here's another one because they're separated by a space. Okay, so that, you know, pretty much, pretty much is it. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. This tutorial basically used concepts from the Enhanced 4 tutorial, Single Dimensional Array tutorial, and the Introduction to Methods tutorial. So hopefully that made sense. If it doesn't, go ahead and watch um, those three tutorials again. Come back to this. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.